Farmers across North America have seen some really tremendous gains the last couple of years with a number of different fungicides. So as you can imagine, the interest in using fungicides in crops is really going up. Also, there are some new products coming out that are quite exciting. One we've got a lot of questions about has been Revisol. And at first, when I heard about this, I thought, wait a second, that's a triazole. There's a new triazole coming out and farmers are really excited about it, but this is no ordinary triazole, so we want to talk a little more about this today. All right, well, first of all, triazoles aren't getting introduced at a real rapid rate because a lot of times there gets to be concern with human safety. This one does seem to be relatively safe to humans, but the biggest advantage that this Revisol has is it does at least seem like we are seeing a little bit better disease control, a little more broad spectrum. It does have a little stronger activity. It's a little bit faster acting than some of these other triazoles as well. And it does have maybe a little bit longer residual. So I'm not gonna say that it's maybe leaps and bounds better than any triazol we've ever seen, but at least the new Revisol does look pretty good. And we've got another triazol that's out there. Well, I think the big thing here, and we're talking about one mode of action is whenever you're using fungicides, we really prefer to see at least two modes of action that work on the disease that you're going after. Better yet, if we could even get three. So when you think of a new triazole coming out, I'm th already thinking about well, what are going to be the premixes that it's in? What other modes of action are we going to see this combined with? Other than the triazole family, the other two commonly used families in terms of fungicides are the SDHIs and then also the strabiliarins. Well, with Revisol, it is going to be in a couple of premixes going into this coming spring. There will be both Veltima and Revitec. The Veltima will be the corn product, and that's basically going to be headline, the strabiliarin, together with this triazole Revisol. And then you've got the Revitec that'll be used in soybeans that also contains the SDHI. So basically it is headline, the SDHI, and this triazole, or basically Preaxor and Revisol. So one of the keys that you need to know about any of these fungicides that we're talking about in any of these families is they're only gonna last for so long out in your field and be effective for so long, partially because they only work on the plant tissue that they're sprayed on. So if you've got a plant that's 12 inches tall and you spray a fungicide and do a great job with coverage and you cover every leaf on that plant, well, the bottom 12 inches of your plant is now protected. But let's say that plant puts on another six inches of growth, that top six inches is unprotected. So after two to three weeks, and you wanna protect that next six inches of growth, you're going to need to apply another fungicide pass. So don't think just one fungicide pass is gonna cover you for the whole year. It's really important that you're covering each leaf on that plant that you want to protect, or each part of that plant that you wanna protect. So just think about fungicides as I'm buying a window of time here of protection on this part of my plant. The other thing is we gotta think about more than just diseases. And yes, disease control is absolutely number one and always will be with fungicides. But the other component here is plant health. Now, when I first started hearing about plant health, I just thought, come on, this is just a sales pitch. There's no way there's plant health. There's gotta be just some light little amount of disease in almost every plant, and that's why they're still getting gains. And I would still argue that that is a part of it. We're going to have better disease control. By the way, in terms of plant health and in terms of disease control, you want to get the fungicide out as early as possible. Once the disease sets in, I'm not gonna say it's entirely too late, but it's certainly too late to maximize yield. So spray early and you'll have better results. But anyway, the big two things that I would talk about with plant health are the reduction in ethylene after a fungicide is sprayed, and then also basically fungicides can serve as antioxidants. Okay, Brian, let's take on this plant health topic and let's start with your ethylene production, for example. Now, I remember back when we were growing up, we raised a lot of 108 day corn on our farm. Now we raise a lot of 100 day corn. Well, why are we raising a shorter maturity? We're actually planting earlier than we were growing up as well. So we should have a longer season here, right? Well, here's the problem. We're running into premature death because we weren't using fungicides back in those days. And when stresses would come along, the plant would start producing more ethylene, which would signal that, hey, it's time to start finishing that seed off and we're gonna be dying shortly. Now, if we can hold that ethylene production off longer, we end up with a healthier plant that lives through the season longer, can still take in more sunlight, more energy, and ultimately produce more yield. That's why fungicides have become really popular. 
I think the ethylene production thing is a big deal, Brian. Whether you're thinking about plants or just human health, you probably have heard about antioxidants. The big thing is in human beings, just the same as in plants, we get these oxidants that can create problems inside of us, all kinds of health issues in plants and humans. So to reduce those, we have antioxidants. We do see with fungicides, they can serve as antioxidants. Now, one other thing I guess I would mention just real quick too, kind of along that same line with the oxidants, is we see lower plant temperatures after fungicides are used compared to untreated checks. When the temperature rises in plants, it's just like when the temperature rises in human beings, not really a good thing. Think about it as your plant's got a fever. Okay, the fungicide is helping control that fever by reducing oxidants and certainly by reducing disease pressure. And the last thing, Brian, I, I mentioned that we need to get good coverage on those leaves. And what I mean is we need a smaller droplet, we need more spray pressure, and oftentimes more gallons per acre being used to apply these products, especially when we have a decent amount of crop out in the field. So switch your spray tips up. If you're using tips to spray a dicamba product, for example, and you're using great big droplets to try to minimize drift, that may not be the best time to mix in a fungicide, for example, if you want to have smaller droplets and better coverage. I really like Hypro's 3D nozzle. That's been one of my favorites just because it makes those particles smaller. The spray angle is also really good for getting coverage up and down both sides of the plant. That's what I would look at, but there are other nozzles that could work as well to get good coverage. All right, and the last thing that I would say is we spent some time talking about Revisol and these new products that are coming out. But the thing I like most when new products come out, that means some of the old products get that much cheaper. So if you're just looking for something inexpensive, now you're gonna have more options. If you're looking for something even better, you're gonna have more options. So all across the board, we just believe fungicide use number one is good, doesn't necessarily fit in every single situation, but as we've got this basically price ladder where we've got some really cheap products and some really fantastic products that are much higher priced, well, now hopefully somewhere in there it will fit, that fungicide will fit, or a fungicide will fit on your farm. Well, fungicides are great for preventing disease before it's out there in the field, but one thing they can't do is stop our Weed of the Week. We'll show you what will coming up next. <laughs>